New information is revealed about Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes. Nova's name is confirmed. In the past few days, Total Film Magazine published an article about the Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes movie. This publication reveals details of the plot, the motivations of the characters, and even confirms the name of some characters. In this video, we will be analyzing all the new information that was revealed in this magazine. And for more videos from the Planet of the Apes universe, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Welcome to the Oasis Geek. The article begins by summarizing Caesar's trilogy, highlighting the importance of his character, but clarifying that the new movie is not a soft reboot or a continuation, but rather they refer to this new movie as a reset, a movie that will start something new and will take place long after Caesar's story. But then the magazine goes on to say the following. Caesar is long gone, forgotten by most, but one ape, a bonobo named Proximus Caesar, played by Kevin Durand, has twisted Caesar's teachings to his purpose, enslaving apes as he searches for long-lost human technology to reaffirm the new world order, while a young chimpanzee, Noah, played by Owen Teague, embarks on a journey of discovery, meeting young human Nova, the Witcher's Freya Allen. This part of the article confirms several things. The first is that Proximus Caesar is a bonobo, Second, that he is enslaving other apes, as we had theorized on this channel. And it confirms something that was also mentioned at the beginning, that Proximus Caesar is the last one who remembers Caesar, and he is in search of human technology. But most surprisingly, the human is given the name Nova, which leads me to think we weren't supposed to know her real name was May. When this movie started its publicity, fans quickly identified the character as Nova, the human that was in the original Caesar movies, but the director mentioned that her name was May. The problem is that in all the promotions after this, it has been mentioned that her name is Nova, including the new trailer where we can see Noah calling Nova. This means that maybe May's name was a surprise. And it could be a surprise because she could be connected to Marianne Stewart, who was the astronaut who lost her life when the Icarus arrived in the first Planet of the Apes movie. The fact that she is known as Nova could be a way to divert us from the real name, May or Marianne. But of course, we must wait for the film's release to confirm this. We continue reading part of the article in which Wes Ball mentions that the movie takes inspiration from Star Wars and confirms the theory we had about Noah's story. When it was mentioned that Wes Ball announced that this movie will be inspired by Star Wars, many people thought that it would be about repeating nostalgic elements from the first movies. However, in our channel we mentioned that he was possibly referring to the hero's journey. In this magazine, the director confirms that the film will be inspired by Star Wars, but on the hero's journey, that is, the story of an innocent character who fights against some problems and becomes the hero of the story. Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes is Noah's story, as Star Wars was for Luke Skywalker. Now, there are several things that West Ball mentions in the magazine which are best read from his own words, which read as follows. Noah fits that archetype of Frodo Baggins and Luke Skywalker, explains the director. He's a new character we can identify with, appreciate, respect, because he's incredibly kind and nice. But he is going to undergo this great transformation, or at least the beginnings of one in this movie, where that innocence is robbed of him a little bit. Ball labels the teen chimp a new Caesar prototype who has to carry that torch forward into subsequent movies providing they get the go-ahead to make more, that is. He's from a village called Eagle Clan, which has its own kind of lies, says Noah actor Owen Teague, drawing a parallel to the regime under which Proximus Caesar's apes live. It's not really lies, it's just ignorance. They keep to themselves, they're an isolationist society. This part of the article confirms all the theories that we would see a confrontation between the tribe of Proximus Caesar and the tribe of Noah. But now we have a name for their tribe, the Eagles Clan, and surely this is why the initiation ritual of the tribe is with the Eagles in the Forbidden Zone. This information is very interesting, but the magazine reveals much more of the story by saying the following. A small village, but they have a territory, and Noah isn't allowed outside that territory, 
The majority of the clan are kept within the boundaries. Noah's clan apes are ignorant about the world outside, knowing nothing of Caesar or where apes came from. In true Disney movie fashion, Noah yearns to discover the bigger picture. The thing that drives him in his story is saving his people. But his inner desire is to learn about the world, to see what's out there, which is something that his father isn't really eager for him to do. It's this curiosity that leads Noah to explore beyond the confines of his camp. This means that although Noah could start fighting against Proximus Caesar to defend his clan and restore the Eagle's clan, the reality is that along the way, Noah discovers that his clan has lied to him and that his true purpose could be found in his connection to Caesar. But of course, this is not directly discussed in the article. The magazine also confirms that the elder is named Koro. We see that it is mentioned that he is an elder of the Eagle clan and we have the names of Noah's friends. Suna and Anaya. The name of the female ape we see next to Noah in the trailer is shown, who is named Dar. Then the magazine also reveals that Noah will meet May and Raka. In the original films, the Forbidden Zone is an area off-limits to most apes. It's where relics of the old world of human dominance lie. Noah naturally decides to cross the border. He's going into a world he's never seen before, says Dorrance. He discovers cities and other human artifacts, and he meets the orangutan Raka, played by Peter Macon, from whom he learns a great deal. Noah also meets Nova, a girl smarter than other humans, most of whom have regressed to feral creatures like those from the 1968 film. Should we be suspicious of Freya Allen's character? We like to think that all of our characters have an agenda of some kind, says Jaffa obliquely. When characters act and react and speak, they're acting towards something they want. And so, wherever she is on the evolutionary trail up, down or sideways, like all characters, she does have needs and wants. Importantly for the story, Nova is a looking glass for the audience through her pairing with Noah. This completely changes the theories about Raka in the story, and it is possible that his character is not originally from the Forbidden Zone. I believe that Raka, based on this information, could be from Proximus Caesar's tribe, and that he helped Nova escape from these apes. Raka could be the spiritual leader of the clan of Proximus Caesar, and that is why he knows so much about the past. That could also be the reason why we saw a picture of Proximus Caesar with Raka's necklace, as perhaps it was Proximus Caesar who gave it to him. The fact that it keeps hinting that something else is going on with Nova is one of the clues that makes us believe that she could be an astronaut, then the magazine explains what we mentioned, that Nova is also a name used by apes to refer to their female human pets. However, it is mentioned that Noah also calls her Echo. Let's not forget that Taylor called the human Nova because of her connection to the stars. However, the magazine goes on to tell us about other story elements, such as Proxima Caesar's intentions and other story elements, such as the location of his clan. We will be discussing this part of the article in our next video. So if you want to know everything that this magazine revealed, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. You are on. The Oasis Geek